Just by their looks, it is easy to see why many people have fallen in love with the Siberian Husky. These dogs have beautiful thick coats that come in various colors. However, Siberian Huskies are most renowned for their blue or multicolored eyes, along with their prominent facial masks that adds to their striking appearance. While they are handsome dogs, Siberian Huskies are not for everyone, so if you're wondering if this is the right dog breed for you, Make sure to watch the whole video because for today, we'll talk about the 8 reasons why you should not get a Siberian Husky. Siberian Huskies are intelligent, athletic, and independent dogs who can be challenging to handle for first-time dog owners. These dogs are also known to be escape artists, which is especially true for dogs that do not receive enough physical and mental stimulation. For this reason, Siberian Husky is not suited to everyone. Later on, we'll get to know more about these fascinating dogs. Hello there and welcome to Smart Dog Lover. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel for your daily dose of dog-related content. As mentioned earlier for today's video, we'll talk about the 8 reasons why you should not get a Siberian Husky. So without further ado, let's begin. Number 1. Do not get a Siberian Husky if you cannot deal with their energy. Originally bred in Siberia as working dogs, Siberian Huskies are known for pulling sleds and other activities that involve physical strength. Because of this, these dogs naturally have a great deal of energy, which their owners need to burn off to prevent development of destructive behaviors. On average, Siberian Huskies will need about at least two hours of exercise every day, which can be broken down into two sessions. If you have a yard, that will be a perfect place for your pup to run and release their energy all day, thus keeping them calm and well-behaved indoors. Without enough exercise, your dog will become bored, which can lead to excessive barking, chewing, digging, and scratching as ways to release their energies. Number 2. Do not get a Siberian Husky if you don't prefer a dog that sheds. With their thick, beautiful coat, it is expected that Siberian Huskies will shed a lot of fur. And by a lot, I mean that their loose fur will stick onto your clothes, furniture, and even to your food. Indeed, investing in a high-quality vacuum is a must with this dog in your house. In addition, this breed also blows their coat twice a year, which means that they will shed more heavily during these times. The good thing about these dogs' coats is that it is able to protect them from insect bites that may cause infection, and it also provides them insulation that keeps them warm and cozy during winter, making them excellent playmates for those who love snow. Number 3. Do not get a Siberian Husky if you cannot accept that they can be stubborn. Being highly intelligent can be both a good and bad thing for dogs good because you are able to teach your dog's commands much more quickly, and bad because he can easily learn bad habits. For Siberian Huskies, they are known to be stubborn and independent, making training sessions quite a challenge. The thing is, Siberian Huskies are naturally stubborn, and you have to accept this fact if you are considering this breed. For example, if they play outside and it's time to come back home, they may do everything to stop you such as sitting down, lying down, and just staying wherever they are. So you either have to drag or carry them home, which can be difficult considering their size. That kind of stubbornness is what you will deal with if you decide to have this dog. Number 4. Do not get a Siberian Husky if you cannot keep them cool. Siberian Huskies used to work in the cold Siberian winters all day where the temperature could drop to negative 50 degrees Celsius or negative 76 degrees Fahrenheit. But with these dogs' dense two-layered coats, this isn't much of a problem. While these dogs can live in a climate that we have today, it is very important to watch them closely for any signs of overheating, especially during summer. It is also highly suggested to take them out for a walk early in the morning or late in the afternoon when the temperature is not too hot. It is just as important that they always have access to shade and fresh water whenever they're outside. And we're already halfway through this video. So far, what do you think of the Siberian Husky? Do you think you can handle them? Let us know your thoughts later on because for now, we have more things to talk about these dogs. So without further ado, let's continue. Number 5. 
Do not get a Siberian Husky if you're a busy person. Because of their size and personality, you might think that the Siberian Husky can live on their own. However, that is not really the case for these dogs. Huskies thrive in the presence of their humans, which means that they can feel bored and sad if they are left alone for long periods of time, which can lead to separation anxiety. Additionally, we mentioned earlier that they need plenty of exercise, which means that you need to really dedicate time to spend with them. Therefore, if you're a busy person and will be out of the house most times of the day, then you should not get this breed. Otherwise, you'll have a destructive dog who will destroy your furniture to show their frustration from lack of attention and stimulation. Number 6. Do not get a Siberian Husky if you don't fancy a talkative dog. Siberian Huskies are not particularly barkers, but they do like to express their emotions and communicate with their owners through howling and yowling. For example, if it's time to go outside for their daily exercise, but it's raining, they would remind you about it. Or if they find their food bowl empty and they're hungry, they will definitely let you know about it. Therefore, you should be responsible in meeting your dog's needs. Although you may find their yowls and howls adorable, your neighbors might not. Therefore, the Siberian Husky does not make the best choice for apartment dwellers and for those who live close to their neighbors. Number 7. Do not get a Siberian Husky if you're looking for a fierce guard dog. Siberian Huskies are social dogs, which means they are not the best when it comes to protecting their families from danger. Although they will alarm you if someone is approaching your home, they are most likely to invite them for a cup of coffee instead of warding them off. Sure, their looks might be intimidating for most people, but they are actually so trusting and friendly that they will wag their tail when the delivery man walks to your home. Despite not being fierce guard dogs, Siberian Huskies do have a high prey drive, which means that they are likely to chase and hunt down small animals they consider as prey. Like their stubbornness, you can't totally eliminate this behavior, but proper training and early socialization would certainly help. With that said, your dog is still an animal and may sometimes exhibit their natural instinct to chase after animals. It's like a switch that would turn on when you're least expecting it. Number 8. Do not get a Siberian Husky if he cannot handle their digging behavior. Although it is possible to eliminate this behavior, Siberian Huskies are most likely to dig your yard. It is part of their instincts because 1. Their ancestors used to bury food supplies on the ground, and 2. They dig to make shelter for themselves during harsh conditions. If you keep your dog engaged in activities, their tendency to dig can be lessened. It would also help if you give them a specific area in the yard, such as in the corner, where they can dig all they want so that they won't ruin your garden. To wrap up, the Siberian Husky is an ultimate dog for the right owner who can provide them with their needs. So long as they are trained, socialized, given sufficient diet and exercise, this breed will be a huge help not only in the household but also to our mental and emotional health. And that ends our video for today. What are the new learnings about Siberian Husky you obtained from this video? Do you think they fit your lifestyle? Feel free to comment down your thoughts below. As always, if you enjoyed today's content, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. To be notified when we upload new videos, make sure to click the notification bell button. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.